I am in a brand new long on Bitcoin. And as we are speaking right now, price is at my average entry price, currently $4 underwater. Of course, I'm looking to turn this trade into profit. So in this very video, I'm going to be explaining exactly what I'm looking at next and the reasons why. So I hope that you not only learn from this video, but you can get switched on to this very profitable style of trading. So let's go. Uh, I will say this, this is the exact trade setup that I laid out yesterday for my champions. So they are already ahead of the curve. They know I'm in this long trade and they know exactly what I'm doing next. For here on YouTube, I will explain to you exactly what that trade idea was. And it was simply looking for three averaged entry prices. So off of the anchored view app, retest off of the low, final and third entry off of the value area low of the range. As you can see, I had step number one, two and three, giving me an average entry of $64,000 validation for me on this trade is losing the value area of support but as said we are currently holding that very nicely indeed several wicks onto the support so what am i looking at next well of course as you can hopefully tell i'm still in this long trade so i am still looking for this rise to the upside i've got a hard cold set take profit one here which i do know this value area has slightly come down so i will adjust this by about a hundred ish dollars why because now the value area high yesterday so i will just show you how this updates we were looking at the value area high above price action okay and now the of course we have to update with the new data that's coming in that value area high is coming at the highs of yesterday so best case scenario we take out the highs of yesterday look then for a potential swing failure pattern we'll always slightly front run this okay so rather than going for you know 65,150 above the high happy to do a slight front run on the take profit one and uh, for me then it's I hope I'm going to I'm going to say it but I really hope you know the words that are in my mouth. What am I going to do when price does hit this high? I will have my alert set and I will check the reaction because I'll be looking for one of two things. Okay, so I've got my hard take profit set here. Take profit one. I'll be looking at one of two things. Price will make its way up as we come into New York session and we will look for either a swing failure pattern or failed auction which then brings us back into the range. And that is where I would actually look to close out that trade fully for profit. Okay, scenario number two, which of course would be a nice scenario, would be to break above this high, hold it as support, and look for continuation towards $66,600. And of course, then we got the 67,500 massive key level above us, right? So that would be bringing us up to the next level. But for now, 66,600. And that is basically the game plan. Okay, so I want to just explain like, what is the thought process? And you know, my, my main aim with these videos is to let you get into my head, right? I'm, I'm, trading very profitably okay and so if you can understand the insights and knowledge that i can share there's no reason why you cannot be taking these same trades based off of what i have taught you okay so really simply i have a high probability that we will see continuation to the upside so that is my bias right now that higher prices will come okay in terms of getting an average entry this is a method that i love to use so rather than going all in on the first order you split your order up into three different sections as you can see i here i had the original anchored view app then i went for the retest of the low and then far, thir thirdly and the final order for me was at the value area low as i was laying out in my daily morning update to the champions yesterday this is where i was looking for that final buy order and i was at the time even in this trade which i will try and find so you can see da, 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 what we there you go so i was showing them around this trade exactly how i was you know wanting to continue to line this up price goes on we pull back to the value area low so far this has been the absolute love to move and now i'm looking for the continuation to the upside of course one thing that we are always going to be monitoring as it you know, as we are seeing the price action would be coming over and looking at the order flow. We would, of course, like to see some bullish divergences forming here. We have very local bullish divergences here. So you can see the higher low formed with the lower low on the CVD. But what I do not like about these bullish divergences as of yet is that this is on a decrease in open interest. OK, high well, relatively, you know, this is an 8.9 million candle, positive delta, and overall within the range since we put in that first low, we haven't got those bullish CVD divergences yet. Okay, so for me, this is always a thought process of this is not enough for me to close the trade. It's not what I would call a perfect scenario. Okay, perfect scenarios here. We're building up a lot of CVD divergences down here uh, with lots of trap shorts, but that is not the case. So this is not the perfect scenario, but this is nevertheless the scenario that I am trading. 
okay? It's not enough to invalidate me, and it's why I'm so keen on the reaction at the value area high. Again, if we get a bearish reaction, I'll even scalp a short trade as I take my profit on the longs. Of course, if we get a breakout, hunky dory, no short trade, stay in the long, look for higher. But yeah, for me, the order flow is... Um, again, I repeat, not enough for me to close and invalidate this long trade, but not what I want to see in a perfect world scenario, okay? So that is why I have placed a hard take profit limit preset, and for me, that is where I will judge the reaction and happily take a short if we get the bearish reaction. I will say this in this video, if you want to see a live trading stream from me tonight, on YouTube, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, hit the likes. If we hit over a thousand likes, I will go live tonight, give you an update on this trade and let you know exactly what I am looking for next, okay? We're gonna get around 5,000 views on this video. So if just one in five of you smash that like, I'll go live and talk you through the price action, what I'm looking at in the time, you know, the order flow, maybe even go over some altcoins because uh, that's where I feel there's a lot of profits to be had right now. So if you want to see that, you know what to do. Hope you've enjoyed this quick update. And if you do like these styles of videos, you can also smash that like so I know that you enjoy. So cheers, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. And again, if you want to see more from me on a regular basis, every day of the week, you can get it via the Chart Champions membership. I just want to show you one cool thing that we've just released. That is the learning track. So we went through all the course, handpicked each video that we feel is necessary to learn as a swing day and sculpt trader. And we've also created a little quiz here. So if you want to have an idea, of which type of trader you should be, you can take the quiz and it will tell you which style of trader would suit you best. So yeah, this is a brand new edition. I feel it's very nice. And uh, yeah, you can come through here and watch through the videos uh, that we've handpicked for each style of trader. Uh, yeah, if you want this, as well as, of course, all the live trading streams that we do every day, um, yeah, I'm sorry, three, four times a week live trading. And then of course we have the updates every day on live stream daily morning updates and then of course we have the updates every day inside of the discord so we got so much for you and uh, yeah if you want to see more from me smash that like i'll go live tonight otherwise i'll see you on sunday for the champions live stream cheers everybody thank you and that's me signing out goodbye